Okay, right now we're talking with Dr. Michael Roizen from MyPersona.com. If you have a question for the doctor, again, 916-321-3310. All right, Dr. Roizen, thank you. A five-time New York Times bestselling author. You see the books behind him. First question, doctor. Uh, I'm planning on playing golf and all seniors. How safe is it to get together and play, asks the texter. Um, either walk, uh, pulling your bag by yourself, or uh, go in a cart by yourself, nobody else there, use wipes on the cart uh, handles, etc. Don't handle the uh, pin, and uh, if the, uh, if the uh, holes are not raised, mm -hmm. that is the, um, so it bounces, so your ball bounces off them, don't put it into the hole to reach down to pick it up, and don't be together on the green. So it's very possible to play, um, and the sun is good because the sun uh, now in Sacramento will start has enough energy to start killing viruses, and hopefully coronavirus is voluntarily being killed now. Mm -hmm. um, and if so, we're pretty lucky, but in any case, golf is fine as long as you're not together. Um, when you tee off, tee off by keeping distance. You know, you raised two points which I want to follow up on. I, I've been playing a lot with my son. You're not allowed to touch the pin on the golf course. Uh, and also, they have raised the cups so that you, you can reach into the cup without putting your hand all over it. They are not uh, allowing cart rental or pull cart rental, so you have to carry your bag. So to your point, yes, they are doing it. The second one you just mentioned is about it warming up in Sacramento which it's, it's kind of doing, we are getting some rain. However, that goes to my question as the heat, 90 degrees, 100 degrees, do you feel confident that the warming of summer does kill this virus? Uh, we wish, um, I think there's an 80, looking at coronaviruses in general, eight out of 10 of them, if you will, or five out of six of them, we know are killed by um, the energy of the sun. We don't know whether it's the heat or people separating. Um, many people think it's actually the energy of the sun has enough energy to kill the, the virus um, when uh, April 15th comes around. So we hope that that will happen. Mm -hmm. We aren't we don't have any assurity of it. If you look at the map of where it is, this looks like a northern hemisphere, then southern hemisphere virus. It never goes away totally in the summer but it gets much less. Remember though, that's what happened with the Spanish flu in whatever it is, 1918 or 19. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It went away and then it came back with a vengeance. Hopefully now we will get vaccines or we will get four months to figure out treatments yeah. if that's so, mm -hmm. and that will be a great boon to us. Yeah, I'm glad you, you brought up the Spanish flu, which you're right, it was right around 1917. That went around the world four times and there wasn't air travel back then. So that was, that was particularly bad. Okay, next question from Margie. Does blood type have anything to do with coronavirus? Well, it's interesting, we don't know why but in both Italy and in China, blood type O seemed to get it less, blood type A more frequently. We think that relates to attachments um, and antibodies. That is, the O type has antibodies to A, which seem to have some small protective ability. Now, you can't change your blood type. Um, and it is not invincible. This is not like O's don't get it at all. Mm -hmm. No, they're just getting it at a little reduced frequency in those uh, locales where it's been studied. So you can feel a little bit better about it, but it doesn't do anything. It's like saying, I'm 30, I'm going to go out and run out and uh, expose myself. No, there are 30 year olds who die from this. Right. You don't want to expose yourself you can feel a little confident that uh, someone, uh, that God gave you uh, O-type instead of A-type, right. but that doesn't help you. Okay, a lot of people get the flu shot annually. Uh, it, uh, is there anything, I know, I know the flu shot we got this year was not for coronavirus, but does it help well, even it a little? For, Go ahead. No, no, it was for other coronaviruses because those are in the influenza mm -hmm. B category. Mm -hmm. So it just wasn't for this COVID-19 coronavirus. Okay, so the flu shot that we got, would it help at all, considering what's out there now? Well, you wouldn't get another flu. You wouldn't get 
and be have to fight two viruses at the same time. Okay. So that would be beneficial. We think this will be incorporated, if we're lucky, in next year's flu shot, if we can get it done in time. But in any case, the, the point is that um, this, like other coronaviruses, we expect to have immunity for one to two years. Hopefully, they're working on a long, a 10-year flu shot. But until that comes, we're going to get these every year, and it's a benefit because you're more able to protect yourself against new invaders. That is, your immune system mm -hmm. doesn't have to fight two or three things at once. Okay. Our uh, next question comes in about coronavirus. Can you get it on your cell phone or anything like that? Well, meaning if, you buy, if your cell phone is touched, breathed on, coughed on, sneezed on by someone who has the coronavirus, it can live on that surface and... There, there's a debate whether it's um, one day to three days, but at least it can live there for some time, probably more than 24 hours. Okay, a quick follow-up. The president has mentioned Easter, April 12th. Not being political at all with this, but are you optimistic as the president is that we'll be able to uh, resume some sense of normalcy by that date? We need two breaks for that to happen. One is that it goes south around April 1st, um, and we will start to see the numbers begin to level off by Easter in most states. Second, that social distancing works. The third break we need is that we find some kind of treatment for the sickest, whether that is we have the data and we'll have early data on hydroxychloroquine and uh, azithromycin by then. We'll have some early data on one of Gilead's projects by then. If we get lucky and one of those is good for the worst, the sickest, then maybe April 12th is possible. If we don't get lucky, if it doesn't go south, if social distancing mm -hmm. isn't working, if we don't get a treatment, then I don't think that's a, a, a that's as as probable as we'd like. Okay, Dr. Michael Roizen, 